thanks for joining everyone. So I'm going to show you how to get started in Strong DM in 10 minutes. <laughs> um, so the first thing you want to do to get started in Strong DM is to uh, create your gateway. So I'm going to create an EC2 instance, Linux instance, um, to use as my gateway. Um, we recommend um, a, I'm going to use Linux and Ubuntu Linux, and we recommend an instance that has at least two CPUs and four gig of memory. So I'm going to choose a, a T3 medium. Um, networking wise, you want a network that address that is going to be accessible to your users. In my case, I need a public IP address. So I'm going to choose a public subnet um, and ensure that my public IP is enabled. For storage, uh, it doesn't require much storage to run a gateway, so the 8 gig default is fine. And for security groups, I'm going to uh, select a security group that I already have created for my gateway. And this security group is allowing um, access from any source to the port 5000, which the gateway will run on. I'm also allowing myself to um, SSH into uh, this particular instance so I can run the install. And then I will select a keeper that I have access to. Acknowledge that and let it go. So I already have an instance running um, uh, to save time here. So you can see it has a public IP address. I'm just going to establish an SSH connection into uh, this instance. And I'm going to go over to the uh, StrongDM admin UI and click the download and install link. And under gateways, I'm going to click the copy command for the curl for the Linux install. Paste that over here in my terminal. And that's going to download uh, the software that I need. So then I just need to unzip it. And then I'll run the install. I did it wrong. I forgot the sudo. <laughs> you have to run it as sudo, <laughs> which I do know. Okay. So it's asking me for a token. So I'm going to come over here to my gateways. I'm going to add a gateway. I'm going to call it something uh, that makes sense. Uh, it's US West 2 FDM gateway. And I'm also going to come over here to this interface and grab the public IP address and post it in here. Um, you may also use a fully qualified domain name instead of just a straight up IP address. Um, and the port number that's by default is 5000, which is what I allowed in my security group. You can specify a different uh, uh, port number. It just needs to be a port that's above 1024 because the strong DM gateway runs as a non-root uh, user. So this generates a token, which I'm going to copy here and paste in here as it's asking me to do. It doesn't echo to the screen, so that's okay. Um, it's gonna go ahead and install my gateway. So with this done, now we can see when I hit OK, my gateway is online and it has a heart. So what I'm going to do next is to set up access um, to another Linux uh, instance that I have. Um, and that instance is actually uh, just in a private uh, network. You can see it doesn't have a public IP address uh, associated with it. So I'm going to add the server. My server type is going to be um, SSH public key. Again, I'm just going to use the IP address, but if you have host names uh, set up in your uh, DNS, you can use the fully qualified host name. It's an Ubuntu instance, so my, my user is Ubuntu. And when I hit create, it's going to generate um, the public key.
So from here, uh, on my gateway, I'm going to SSH into uh, this instance. So what I'm doing here is I'm editing the authorized key file and adding the uh, public key that was created for me in the admin UI. I'll exit from here. I'm gonna exit out of my gateway. And now I am on my, um, just on my um, Mac laptop. But in order for my user to have access, which did I log in this morning? I didn't connect. Let me connect. <laughs> oh, I don't have anything. Okay, I am connected. So in my uh, admin UI over here, I'm going to go into my sysadmin admin role, which I am. I'm going to go into the access rules. I'm going to add an access role, a static role, and click the Linux SSH instance that I just created. Going to add it as a resource. And now I'll see that over here in my uh, StrongDM app on my laptop. So I wanted to see this should have gone green, but it hasn't yet. There we go. So I'll reload this and make sure that it shows green. So this uh, this just meant I needed to run the check uh, to get the connectivity between the gateway and that SSH server after adding the SSH uh, public key uh, to the authorized keys file. So now I'll come in here and run the status. We can see that I have that uh, instance available. I'll SSH into it. And now I'm connected uh, into uh, into that Linux instance that um, it has a it has a private IP. So you know I I needed to go through Strong DM in order to connect to it via SSH from my laptop. So that's it. That's a quick start uh, demo on how to get up and running on Strong DM.